hello there so she's back and she only has one thing on her mind these days diamond art diamond art I actually do you know what I never know like do I call it crystal art or diamond art and are they the same thing because everyone else seems to call them a diamond art but then there's also like crystal art is crystal art different I just don't know because it's still early days for me in this whole you know diamond art world but I'm a connoisseur I'm a connoisseur I'm a connoisseur and I'm not ashamed to say it and I'm just hoping that at some point excuse me build up oh god these cats these cats you know you know they are becoming more challenging by the day I love them I, I absolutely adore them my love for them is is not fading but the challenges are becoming more there every day and now she's she's eating my slippers and she was eating my uh, say, no that's my fault these are slippers that i really like they're expensive slippers i paid far too much for them like i was doing diamond art downstairs and she kept prancing on past because that's luna's love language so luna does not like to be stroked like she you could like feel her like like cringe when you try and stroke her she she doesn't like touch so luna's love language is just to walk past you like to no girl girl these are expensive come on i've got to take these away no boony you're, you're a little devil today i don't know what's going to your boons look i've got to actually hide my slippers luna's love language is just like walk past you so when i'm doing my crystal art she'll be like ooh, prancing on past and then like her foot sticks to the the diamond art and then she knocks the diamonds everywhere I know cats are meant to be like super agile, but my cats are not at all. Like they never fail to knock over my tray of diamonds, crystals, gems, dots. I don't know the right terminology. I I think I need to learn the terminology, but, but that's her love language. So I was out there just taking five minutes to relax and and indulge in some diamond art so then I, I decided right okay no this is not acceptable I got the dreamies I thought that that would keep her busy but no that did not keep her busy for for long for more than five minutes I don't know what it is with my cats like they're not interested they don't care at all about you when you want to give them some attention but whenever you're like vagina deep that sounded weird whenever you're focusing on something else and don't need a distraction, that's it, they're there. They're there, wanting all the attention, but never strokes. I don't know what she wants, I don't know. I have no idea, what What does she want from me? I just don't know. But anyway, is she gone? Is she still here? Boona? I don't know, I don't know if she's gone. I don't know where she is. Okay, so none, none of what I just said was actually anything that I, was going to talk about today. What I was actually going to talk about today was the fact that, and you probably know this already if you're into diamond art, but AliExpress has the best diamond art like ever. So I've mostly been buying my diamond art from Amazon and I've exhausted all the possibilities of any like diamond art pictures that I want to do. I have searched for diamond art and I found loads of different websites that have a a huge range of diamond art but I find a lot of it is just not really you know like pictures I would want to do because although I love the process of diamond art I think ultimately like you want to be creating a a painting it's not painting it's a piece you want to be creating a piece that is something aesthetically pleasing to you. So I always like loads and loads and loads of colour because who wants to do like a diamond art where there's th just three different colours? No, even when you've got a whole load of black, ain't got time for that. I want lots of colour and I want some cool, edgy, like gothic, creepy, just not landscapes not sickening motivational quotes, fairies, not animals. I kind of want some X-rated diamond art, not in a sense of like X-rated like nudity and SEX, not like that, but just something like cool and interesting to me. Anyway, I, I was getting to the point where I was thinking, well, I'm, I've actually bought 
another one that I already did. So I'm doing the same one again because it was such a great experience the first time. But then I googled where can you buy the best diamond art from? And a lot of people were saying AliExpress. And I was like, AliExpress does diamond art? And here's me thinking I am long over my addiction to AliExpress. But I think I'm back, up, back on with that addiction to AliExpress because I went on the other day and I was flabbergasted. Like literally, I was flabbergasted with all of the amazing options for diamond art. So I did a little bit of like recording the screen, which I'm still so proud that I can do because... It only took me five years to work out how to do it. Um, so I'll show you like here. I'm sure if you're into diamond art, you've probably come across this. You, like, you're very aware of the the treasure cove that is diamond art at AliExpress. But there's so many like, you know, kind of uh, like unique off the wall, like just a, a, like a bit of an edgy vibe kind of pictures. So this video is twofold really. One, if you're just getting into diamond art or you don't shop on AliExpress and you weren't aware that they have an extensive range of diamond art canvases to do. I wanted to let you know. And the second part of it was, I just wanted to say how excited I am because I've ordered about seven diamond arts. And then I've just remembered actually that I, I've ordered about 10 from Sheen because Sheen also have a good range, but it's not as quirky or like, you know, like the kind of things that I'm into, like I like edginess, I like, I like gothic, I like creepy. I'm really into like, you know, attractive ladies, like, because I bought some. I'll show you the ones that I bought. I like beautiful, aesthetically pleasing women, like, I just like it. And another thing that really impressed me about the diamond art options on AliExpress was the amount of like colourful pieces which is what I really, really love. And also you get an option for a, like different sizes of the the actual diamond dots. I feel like it's disrespectful to call them diamond dots. Dots, it just seems a bit not worthy of the gem. I'm going to call them gems because dots, I don't, I just don't think that that represents them in the way they should be represented. And I've completely forgot my point now. Oh yeah, so you get options for like different sizes of dots and occasionally you will also get an option for the shape of the gems. So you will have either round or square. I've not dipped my toe into the square gems yet because I don't know, for some reason I'm just like, hmm, I'm not sure about it. It all seems very symmetrical, whereas with the dots, there's more room for error, really, because there's a space around the gems. Whereas I feel like the square gems, is that not a bit final, a bit uniform? I don't know if I'm a square gem kind of girl. I don't. I just don't know if that's my vibe, but I'm going to give it a go. I will step outside of my comfort zone. Um, but let me know, like, what do you prefer? Do you prefer the square or the round gems? Have you ventured into AliExpress? What do you think of the quality? Because I've only ever bought diamond art from, I think from Amazon, actually. My Sheen ones probably are not gonna come for another six months. The AliExpress ones probably, they won't be here till next year anyway, by which point I probably lost interest in diamond art. But yeah, let me know, like, what, which ones do you prefer? Uh, which one? So my son Alex, he's the one that actually got me into diamond art. He really likes the big gems or like crystals, you know, where you get like rhinestones, like he loves the rhinestone ones. So I bought him like an owl, like rhinestone moment, which he can do later. So that's going to be cool. There's nothing I love better than when I, I'm doing, sharing it with the boys. So anyway, I just wanted to come on and say that if, if AliExpress, I thought she was in my past, She's not in my past. I'm still spending my hard-earned money on AliExpress, just not on the makeup. Do you still shop for makeup on there? I, I just lost all interest because it was just all the same shit. And I was like, I've seen this all before. I've tried this. I probably tried most of it twice. And then Sheen came along and Sheen turned my head. Sheen seduced me, honestly, but now I'm back on AliExpress. So I'll do a haul when I receive my Sheen and AliExpress diamond art so that you can um, see them. But do you know what? I'm going to have to go because um, I wasn't even planning on filming, to be quite honest. I came, 
I came upstairs to have a shower and somehow I ended up here and I don't know why. But anyway, I'm going to go have my shower. I want you to have a fantastic day, whatever you're doing. Make sure you treat yourself. Spend five minutes extra this evening in the bathroom. Just, you know, make sure you really massage that moisturiser in. It, just have some time to yourself. Even if you're not doing skincare, just shut the door and sit down for five minutes. So anyway, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. Bye.